Welcome to PicoGenius.com, where science, electronics, and microcontrollers come together. Today I'm going to show you how to build a weight scale using a load cell. And in addition, uh, we're going to look at the HX711 load cell amplifier. And uh, we're going to interface this to the Raspberry Pico Pi microcontroller. I originally created this video as a one-part video, but because of the length, I've broken it into two parts. Uh, part one will give you a, a flavor for um, how to build the weight scale, the components that you need, um, and some of the software that's required to make the weight scale work. Uh, if this looks like something that you would be interested in building, uh, part two will give you um, additional information about the uh, program and uh, it will also have uh, information on the communications between the uh, load cell amplifier and the Pico Pi and lastly there will be a, a live demonstration of the weight scale uh, in operation. So let's look at the uh, load cell first. The load cell consists of four strain gauges and a bridge configuration. Two strain gauges are placed in compression and two are placed in tension. This will create the maximum change in resistance and thus the uh, greatest output voltage when the force is applied to the load cell. The output of the bridge circuit will only be a few millivolts even when there's a full load on the, on the uh, load cell. So the signal is going to have to be amplified. The HX711 is a 24-bit differential amplifier specifically designed to amplify low cell signals. Uh, this device operates between 2.7 and 5 volts and consumes less than 10 milliamps of current. Um, the HX711 can output weight data at a rate of 80 samples per second and has an input range of plus or minus 40 millivolts. It also has selectable gain of 32, 64, or 128. The board only measures about 24 millimeter by 16 millimeter and has six bridge circuit connections, two connections um, for connecting to the microcontroller, and two power connections. On the bridge side, the E plus and E minus signals are excitation signals to the bridge. The A plus and A minus and, a and B plus and B minus are two differential amplifier inputs. The A plus and A minus input has programmable gain of 3264 and 128, and the B plus B minus input has a fixed gain of 32. On the microcontroller side, there are two power pins. VCC and ground, which are connected uh, uh, to voltages between 2.7 and 5 volts. The DT and SCK pins are serial communication pins for communicating with the microcontroller. This serial connection is neither I squared C or SPI, but is a custom serial protocol, which I'll explain later. This is the block diagram of the weight scale interface. Simply, the load cell is connected to the HX711 amplifier, and the amplifier is also connected to the Raspberry Pi, which is uh, USB connected to the Windows computer running Thony. Power from the USB powers the Pico Pi, the HX711, and excites the bridge circuit in the load cell. This is the schematic of the weight scale interface. As you can see, there are four lines to the load cell from the HX711. Uh, These are E plus, E minus, A plus, and A minus. Five volts on the Pico Pi, uh, pin 40, powers the VCC on the HX711. And the ground on the Pico Pi is the ground to the HX711. The data line on the HX711 is connected to GPIO 19 on the Pico Pi, and the clock 
is connected to GPIO 18. Finally, the USB connector on the Pico Pi goes to the USB on the PC. I added one additional thing to the circuit, which is a logic analyzer, so that I could monitor the serial communications between the Pico Pi and the, eight, and the HX711. This is a physical uh, configuration of the weight scale. As you can see, this is the platform with the load cell, the HX711, and the Pico Pi. Also in the background, you see that the logic analyzer pins come in and connect so that, uh, so that I can look at that on a separate machine. The software that runs the weight scale consists of a main program and a library. Let's take a look at the main program first. Um, the HX711, um, first thing that it does is it imports the, the HX711 library and it also imports um, the machine uh, library for defining the pins. Next, the serial data and clock pins on the Pico Pi are defined as GPIO pins 19 and 18, respectively. Next, an instant, instance of the HX711 is created, and the data and clock pins are passed in as arguments uh, to the library. The terror is referred to as a method in the HX711 library and it sets a zero point of the HX711 and compensates uh, for the weight of the platform. An infinite loop is now executed. This loop calls um, the library function read to get the raw values of the weight. Uh, we have a scaling factor and it is multiplied um, by the raw value to obtain the grams uh, of the weight that's being weighed. Finally, the weight in grams is printed to the screen on the PC. In part one of this video, we've looked at the components needed to develop the weight scale. This includes the load cell and supporting structures and the HX 711 um, load cell amplifier and the microcontroller which was the Raspberry Pico Pi. In addition we looked at the main program that uh, read the values from the scale. Now in part two we'll look at the library function used by the main program. We'll also look at the logic analyzer traces that represent the communications between the Pico Pi and the HX711. Finally, I'll show you a live demonstration of the weight scale in operation. I'll see you there.